And our in-depth coverage of Campaign 2016 continues this morning. Live in studio this morning is Eyewitness News political analyst Joe Fleming. Big race getting a lot of attention this morning is uh, North Providence, right? Yeah, that seems to be the key race today. Uh, there's not a lot going on in the state of Rhode Island today, but you have a very heated mayoral race in North Providence. Kristen Carrizano challenging Mayor Charlie Lombardi. They both spent a lot of money. Both have done a lot of campaigning. So it's going to be interesting to watch that race today. That will be the highest turnout in the state today, I really believe. All right. Uh, do you think the mayor should be worried? I think the mayor's run a good campaign. I think she's run a good campaign. And the one thing I've learned over the years on Election Day is you never guess ahead of time. Uh, you don't know how the voters are feeling all the time. It, well, we do know that so far a lot of voters have been angry this election yes. cycle. So which state leaders do you think may be on the hot seat today? Well, here's the thing to keep in mind. This is a Democratic primary. Right. Democrats tend to be more in line with what's going on in the state, supporting Democrats. I think we're going to see more of the anger in um, the November election. I think the House Majority Leader has a primary today. We want to keep an eye on that race. But overall, I expect a very low turnout today, probably one of the lowest ever in the state of Rhode Island. All right, so if we have a low turnout, does that help the incumbent candidates? Well, a lot of times you would think it would help the incumbent. But again, as you said, if people are angry, those angry people have a reason to go out and vote. Those people who are very satisfied may say, well, the incumbent's okay, so I'm not going to go out and vote. It's really hard to tell, but I would think usually a small turnout does tend to favor the incumbents. All right, let's shift gears now to the national races here, especially for uh, the presidential right. race here. A lot of attention being paid to Hillary Clinton and her recent mm -hmm. diagnosis of uh, pneumonia. Uh, you know, there's two schools of thought, some people coming out and saying, She's human. She gets right. sick. Other people saying the campaign uh, staff should have disclosed it earlier. What's your thought on this, Joe, if this helps, hurts her? What? My thought is the second part. The campaign should have disclosed it earlier for the simple reason. Hillary Clinton has a trust problem, and this goes into the trust problem. She doesn't tell you everything. And what people are saying now is, well, why didn't she just say I had pneumonia? Everyone gets sick. You know, it's not a big deal. But when you go and cover it up, that's when you have the problem. And again, this goes into the trust problem she has, and as part of her favorability. People just don't trust her. All right, last week we saw that poll from Emerson College showing that Clinton has a slim lead over right. Donald Trump in Rhode Island. Are you buying that poll? Well, again, it's an um, early poll. I think polling in Rhode Island, I've seen other years where Republicans have been close early on. Democrats have pulled out in the end. Democrats will tend to come home towards the end. But the main thing to keep in mind is both these candidates have a majority of voters who don't like them. Yeah. So anything's possible. But again, if Donald Trump wins Rhode Island, he's probably going to win the presidency. Oh, it's going to be so interesting. I mean, we are getting down under the two-month yes, mark, we so we're getting closer. Joe, thank you so My much pleasure. for joining us, and we'll be checking in with Joe throughout the day as we have coverage of Primary Day here in Rhode Island. You can head to our website to check out our voter resource guide to help you find your polling spot.